In today's video, I'm going to explain about the different oxidation states or the variable valency of the d-block elements. What is the reason that make some of the d-block elements to show variable valency? Just have a look at scandium. We have plus 2, plus 3. Titanium, we have plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and so on. Okay, and so on for the rest of the elements. That is because in some in the d-block elements, we have n minus 1d orbital and the ns orbital. And the energies of these two are fairly close to each other. Hence, the n minus 1d electrons are as easily lost as the ns electrons. Okay? And have a look at the 3D series element from scandium to zin. We know that manganese has the maximum number of unpaired electrons. So what is the atomic number of manganese? It is 25, okay? So just write the valence shell electronic configuration for manganese. It is 3D5, 4S2. Here we have 5 unpaired electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have 2 for the 4S2 and here for the 3D5. In the 3D series, manganese has the maximum number of unpaired electrons. That's why in the 3D series, manganese, manganese it, show, it shows maximum number of oxidation states. Maximum number of oxidation, oxidation states. The reason is that because it has the maximum number of unpaired electrons. Here we have this conceptual question. Titanium 4 plus is more stable than titanium 3 plus. Why? For that, you have to know the stability of D0, D5, and the D10 configurations. So first of all, what is the atomic number of titanium? It is 22. So write the valence shell electronic configuration. It is 3D2, 4S2. Okay? So, it says that titanium 4 plus is more stable than titanium 3 plus. When I say titanium 4 plus, it means that titanium loses 4 electron. So, if titanium loses 4 electrons, what would be the electronic configuration now? It would be 3D0. 4s0 since it has lost four electrons right so we have this electronic configuration and if it loses three electron then what would be the electronic configuration it loses two electrons from the s orbital and one electron from the d orbital so now it would be 3d1 4s0 so which one is more stable 3D0 or 3D1? It is 3D0. So that's why titanium 4 plus is more stable than titanium 3 plus. What is the reason? Because of the stable 3D0 configuration. Okay? We have another conceptual question. Manganese 2 plus is more stable than manganese 3 plus. Why? Here also, same concept that D0, D5, or the D10 configuration. What is the atomic number of manganese? It is 25. So the valence shell electronic configuration is 3D5, 4S2. So if manganese loses two electrons, it means that now the, the electronic configuration would be 3D5, 4S0, since it has loses two electrons. What about Mn3 plus? If it loses 3 electrons, that means it would lose 2 electrons from the 4s orbital and 1 electron from the 3d orbital. So now the electronic configuration would be 3d4, 4s0. Which one is more stable? 3d5 or 3d4? It is 3d5. Because we know that the d0, d5, and the d10 are stable configurations. Okay? That's why mn2 plus is more stable than mn3 plus because of the presence of the stable 3d5 configurations in mn2 plus.